everyone welcome back to another video in this video we are discussing about the incoterms incoterms are the rules created by the international chamber of commerce that explains commonly used terms in the trade of sales and purchase around the world what do they do when used as a part of contract for sales and purchase of the goods they allocate bare responsibilities for the cost risk and transport obligations between the buyers and sellers this includes who is responsible for importing and exporting of the duties and documentations and who pays for the transportation. They also define the exact point where the responsibility and risk passes from the seller to the buyer. There are 11 types of incoterms and let's see how we can manage an incoterm. Let's get into the sales module and um, in the configuration settings, you can just search for the incoterm where you can set the default incoterm that, that to be used in an invoice. So here I'm going to choose the uh, incoterm. So as you just search the incoterm, you can see the incoterm under the section of accounting. And you can see that comes under the uh, customer invoices and you can set the default incoterm of your company. So here you can see different incoterms and if you want to create a new incoterm, you can just click on search more and here you can find new button where uh, you are allowed to create an encoder and here you can also set the uh, code of the encoder. So once the creation of the encoder is done, you can just choose save and close so that the encoder that you have created will be appeared uh, in the list and you can choose the encoder from the list. So uh, here I'll be explaining, I mean explaining about the encoder free carrier. So let's use uh, the encoder which is free carrier and let's save this. So free carrier is used for all forms of transportation. It means that the seller sells a good at their on premises and other agreed locations of the carrier. So once the goods are sold um, or once the goods are loaded, uh, lo loaded, all the responsibilities goes to the buyer and the seller also uh, has to take care of the export custom duties clear off. Now let's create an order. So we have just received an order from uh, the customer Cybrosis. So let me choose my customer over here. And uh, let's choose a product, which is, um, yeah, cable management box. So we have just received 80 quantity uh, of order from the team or from the customer Cybrosis. And under the other info, you can just set the encoder that you want to apply. So as we have uh, an order of 80 uh, quantity, you can see that the shipping weights will be automatically calculated by Odo. And under the encoder, you can set the encoder that is the rules um, that to be used in the logistics. So we will be choosing free carrier. And here you can also set the Incoterm location. So Incoterm location is where the transfer of the risk and responsibility occur is influenced by the chosen Incoterm. So here you can set the location. So let me choose the location and finally going to save uh, the order and let's confirm the order and let's make the delivery of the item to the customer. And we have just done with the uh, order. Now, we also need to create the invoice. So let me create an invoice, which is a regular invoice. And as the invoice is created, you can also view the encoder under the other info where you can find the encoder that is used and from which location. Now let's confirm the invoice. And we are going to request for the payment uh, from the customer. So after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. And if you want to just preview the invoice, let's preview that way you can find the incoterm that is used along with the location of the incoterm. So this is how we manage with the incoterms in Odo 17. So hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.